Do you want to learn how to intercept both application and browser traffic on your iPhone? Keep watching to find out. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So similar to my Android proxy video, today we'll be doing it on an iPhone. iPhones are actually much simpler to do this and we don't even need to jailbreak the device. The proxy we'll be using today is Burp Suite, but you can apply these same principles to virtually any proxy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is to find out our local IP address. If you don't know how to do that, just quickly follow along. So you go into the run dialog and type cmd to open the command prompt. Then we type IP config. And you might have a few interfaces, but you just look for your primary one. Uh, for me, that's uh, Fnet Adapter 3 and my IP address is 192.168.20.12. Uh, you can do something very similar on uh, Macs and Linux by opening the terminal and typing if config as opposed to IP config. So now we've got our IP address, let's just quickly put that in a notepad file so we don't forget it. And next thing we need to do is fire up Burt Suite. Now we want to go to the proxy tab and go to options. And chances are you've already got your default interface running on 127.0.0.1, running on port 8080. If you don't, just quickly configure that now. So now we're going to add an additional interface. We're going to bind it to port 8081. And this can be any port, but as long as you remember it and it's not in use, and make sure you go to all interfaces. And click yes to that little prompt. Great, and that's pretty much all we need to do on the computer. So let's go have a look at the iPhone. So the first thing we need to do once we're on our iPhone is to go to the settings menu, followed by your Wi-Fi settings. Next, you need to connect to the same network that your host that is running Burp Suite is on. So for me, that's this one. And enter your password. And once that's connected, we just need to Go into the options by hitting that little eye. Scroll down until you get to HTTP proxy. Here we want to go to manual. And the server is the same IP address that we found before. And on port 8081. And we don't need to do anything with authentication. So then we just go back. And if we lose internet connectivity right now, that's fine. That's perfectly expected. Next, we want to go into Safari and go to HTTP colon slash slash burp. Okay, and this is the standard uh, burp suite web server that's running where we can download and install the CA certificate. So just zoom into the top right corner and touch on CA certificate. You go allow, install, install, and click done. And we're almost there. The next thing we need to do is just make sure that this certificate has uh, root trust enabled. So we go back into settings. We go to general, about, Go all the way to the bottom and go to certificate trust settings and then make sure that you enable uh, full trust on the Portswigger CA certificate. That won't be there by default but because I've done it a few times that's why it's already enabled. Next on Burp Suite you might just want to go to your HTTP history and then on your iPhone open Safari and just go to any website that uses SSL and just make sure that the traffic starts flowing through as we can see here. So we're intercepting all HTTPS traffic just through here. And so if you can see all this, then you're done. So that pretty much wraps it up. Nice short little tutorial for you. If you found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button. Really helps me out. And if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.